Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short tips about artificial intelligence and physics. And today I will talk about hydrodynamics. Why? Well, obviously, hydrodynamics is a complex issue. It's literally impossible to predict phenomena like turbulence. You don't know what waves will show up here next, what kind of world will form. All these vortices is very unpredictable. The reason is the Navier-Stokes equations are non-linear. There is no chance to solve them analytically. They have numerical methods, also very sophisticated ones. But even things such as the transition from a laminar flow to a turbulent is not really calculable. It depends on the Reynolds number, which is uh, the ratio of inertial and frictional forces. But all what you can do is very approximate. So, it has enormous difficulties, as already mentioned in my video on meteorology and climate. And of course, you can also use AI to be built in, in these conventional approaches like numerical methods for hydrodynamics and, and solving the, these flows. But as a completely novel approach, I guess one could try also to learn from the pattern. Just this is the state right now, and this is the state in one, two, three seconds. And we just feed the system with the data and let it predict what comes out. So I guess this could lead to novel results. A problem, of course, is how to gather the data because it's even if you look at the surface here, it's not easy to determine which velocity is underneath. So there are some interesting experiments, such as the flow between two cylinders. And if you rotate the inner cylinder, very interesting at a certain point, you see these tailor whirls and then they become unstable and so on and so forth. And one way to visualize that is to put in either little particles which make the flow visible or even a dye which can be activated by a laser. And then you can somehow resolve the flow and get the data. Another very interesting experiment would be a cylinder where you just rotate the top of the cylinder and then also very interesting onion-shaped pattern forms. And yes, I guess uh, artificial intelligence applied to this kind of problems could also lead to significant progress. I know this is a little bit tangential to fundamental physics, but don't forget Heisenberg's doctoral thesis was also about turbulence and he yeah, kind of failed at this time. But in general, I guess this is to be going a scientific revolution and we will apply also artificial intelligence to hydrodynamics and periodic flows. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you are interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.